Oh, you're recording me. Yeah. So essentially what happened was I'm going down some undisclosed highway because I don't actually read signs and stuff. And I was waiting for my phone to give me direction. And I noticed the screen was off. This is weird. Mm -hmm. Considering I just charged my phone before I left. Yeah. Couldn't have run out of batteries yet. Maybe just went to sleep. So I pressed the little side button that unlocks it to see if something happens. Nothing. So now I'm pretty concerned because I don't have the directions and I was supposed to be getting directions relatively soon. It was like a left turn or some shit, but I don't know when. Okay. And so I'm like looking at my phone going 80 miles per hour down whatever the hell highway this is because everyone was going 80 miles per hour. Right. Apparently what happened is... My phone actually did run out of battery. Oh, jeez. So, I had to essentially do the New Jersey shuffle to get over to the side of the road and park, weaving through numerous amounts of trucks because everyone's making their deliveries today. Mm -hmm. And I'm checking to see what the hell's going on with my phone. I turn it on. It had 17% battery left, something like that. I don't know why it shut off. Yeah. I was hoping you knew. That was a that was a question towards Oh. posed towards I, you. I, I I don't I don't know the answer as to why that would happen. Well, if anyone knows, I'd like to know. Because, <laughs> uh, I like to get home at a timely fashion and know where the hell I'm going, and quite frankly, I don't without my phone. My phone is my mother and I am this lost child inside a giant department store and there are big trucks with candies that want me to get into their van yeah yeah the the trucks have a lot of candy don't they actually i did get uh it wasn't like the biggest truck but there was a some snickers vehicle going down that that truck has a lot of candy that truck had a lot of candy and i was thinking you know what Maybe a 15-car pileup right now wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'm just give everyone Snickers and let them go on with the day. And welcome back to Wolfpack Gaming. I'm Craig, and for the first time in, in quite a while, we have my buddy Costa. Uh, he's in the bathroom right now, so um, we're gonna have to. He's sitting. A, he's sitting right next to we're me. We're gonna have to take a five minute break. No, no, we're not. He's sitting right next to me. He's uh. He's lying to you. He's trying to get some stuff for your diffuser. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Ew! Don't do that. <laughs> do. <laughs> we're playing. We're playing. Um. <laughs> open world game the open world game which i can only assume uh has to do with an open world so i think i just saved a file and save file three but you that's didn't even fine start the game you're already saving yeah paranoid did you know every time you level up you earn a skill point that's that's really good to know press x to doubt did you know your journal keeps track of what you have and haven't read okay so it keeps everything Did you know? Skill points can be spent in the skills tab of the pause menu. Okay. Did you know this isn't really a loading screen, but it wouldn't be an open world (laughs) game without waiting. (laughs) I was about to say, something seemed off here. (laughs) Oh, good. Navigate to the quest on the mini-map. This looks like an actual game. I thought this was going to be like a cursor simulator. Hmm, something's not quite right. Yeah, the graphics are freaking awful. Um, And this is uh, the ultra settings for everyone at home who wasn't here. Yeah, here. wow. Uh, may, mayhaps, mayhaps my computer is not powerful enough to run on ultra. Uh, try uh, punching a tree. See what that does. What the hell? What? Much okay. better. You didn't need to see all that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> damn i was kind of hoping that that actually was the game what is this okay so i what That's, it's a quest marker you have to do the quest okay this is the main storyline okay so i 
I have I have four choices. Oh wait. You don't uh, have four choices. It's Oh, okay. I have to acquired 58 experience points in chapter 1 entry. Yo, okay. Slow down. We got to get the story for all the viewers at home. Right, right, right. Okay, so I guess I have to input the commands. So boop 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 boop. Oh, we have a skill oh, point. Okay, cool. Let's see. I can be a generalist, I can be a speedrunner, and I can be a completionist. What am I going to do? Well, scroll over. Let's see what the skills do. Okay. Uh, where am I? Okay, I'm, I'm at completionist. I have charm. Plus 10 to speech checks. And, oh, wall jump. Press cross to jump off walls as easily as jumping off the ground. So, like... Complex ability. This ability was obviously difficult to program and is consequently easy to abuse. I like that one. Let's try that <laughs> Let's, one. We're immediately doing that. Uh, space. Okay. Space? Is it space to get? Oh, I have to the... hold it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So, all so right. So, how do you do the complex ability? I don't know. Well, check the okay. skills tab. The oh, skills tab. The skills tab? Go to pause. Skills tab. Right. Oh, wait. That is the skills yeah, tab. Yeah, we were, we were in the skills tab. That was, that was K. K is for skills. Hold on. Submit. Back. Yeah. I almost forgot. I have to set a timer. That's... We're doing the speed run, folks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Clearly totally doing the speed have, run. Uh... Yeah, this is speed run mode. Okay, we're gonna got get 67 none of the experience. Lore. No one's going to know what's going on. We're just going to leave our viewers completely in the dark about the story behind open world game, the open world game. Right. We got we got some more skill points. What, what are we doing? Let's see. We're metagaming. That's what's happening. Yeah, totally. We got block. <laughs> okay, protect yourself from enemy attacks. Seems pretty basic. Aim. Hold your breath to gain increased accuracy. Done. All right. <laughs> We're going for um, an archer or gunner class, apparently. We are not quite sure what. Okay. Ch chapter 5 entry. Hold on, wait. What, what, what are these entries? It should be in your journal so. as given to us by the not tip guides that were in the beginning of this game. Okay. So, main quest. Let's see. Chapter 1. You arrived at the prop. Whoa! <laughs> Where is all of this lore coming from? You know, if you weren't so quick to do all the quests, maybe you would know. <laughs> you arrived at the promised meeting place, the cave by the sideways tree, northeast of Prefator. You guessed the tree was kind of sideways. No one was there, so you were unsure if this was the right cave. But you were promised answers to how you arrived in this nightmare of a world. You kicked around inside the cave for half an hour before deciding that the tree was more of a diagonal and began to leave when there was a rusting close, close by in a bush. Rustling, sorry. You glanced over to see the eyes of a frightened child gazing suspiciously at you. You gave a gentle beckoning motion and he skittered out to you. The man you were supposed to meet had been taken captive in Leodum. Before you left, the child muttered something about it being dangerous to go alone and gave you the weapon from the cover art of the game. Kind of looks like a compass. All right, let's let's get the cover art out. I kind of want to see what this weapon is. Yeah. Um, Did you equip it? I don't think so. Uh, right, equip right. the weapon. Yeah, let, let's, let's it go. It looks like a compass. It okay. should be somewhere in your inventory. So, so let's go maybe to stats. No, it wouldn't be it. Uh, resume. That's resume. Chivos. <laughs> Go, yes. Chivos. 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 What is Chivos? I think it's achievements. Oh, it is achievements. <laughs> Damn, I'm good at this. We got triple digits. Oh, wait. We didn't get triple digits. Uh. Apparently, yeah. there's less than a thousand things in this game because we have only triple digits while getting everything in the game. According to this achievement system. Wait, what did you say? Collect everything? Collect everything, triple digits, which means the highest it could be is 999 things before it goes into four digits. That would so make sense. So there's less than that in the game. Huh. Well, hey, <laughs> an open world game is uh, is nothing if it's too big. Okay. Got some... Oh, oh chapter six. Oh. All right, so so we're so we're gonna we're gonna I think we're gonna skip over the the next four chapters because Lord knows, uh, nothing important happened there. The well, e. We don't know. We don't look at the journal. Okay. We do, have a compass do, given to us by a kid. Do you, Our friend was taken to Leodum or whatever the hell. Do you do do you want to read these six chapters, which are probably longer than the game itself? Yeah. All we right. Got to get the lore. <laughs> People play these games for the lore. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. And, I'll try and give him my uh, my best my best voice. You traveled to Leodum and were suddenly arrested. <gasps> 
Also in custody was a man painted with stone and wearing a decorative claw, the man you're, you've been searching for. You were both brought to a chopping block outside of Leodum to be executed. With no escape in sight, you lay your head down and accepted death. Just then, the mighty roar of a dragon pierced the heavens and sent everyone into a state of panic. As the dragon laid waste to the land, you and the man painted with stone made your escape. Protected from the fire and the flames by your plot armor, you and your companion reached safety. The clawed man thanked you for saving him and reintroduced himself as Gesh. You made yourself a sandwich while he told you all about this world. <laughs> Exuvia, the world without a home. The world Exuvia is full of the unfinished, but Gesh and his companions hope to bring change to the world. If you want to know more, you need to return to the starting cave, which is actually the secret hideout for Gesha Society, the Restorers. Well, we know where we're going next. Okay. The hell with the main story. We got side quests to do. Yeah, well, I, like, what are these side quests? The tales of your many tasks. And your, okay, we don't have anything. Uh, lookout points. Fish! There's fish? Okay, we don't have anything. We don't have any relationships either. No. Ain't that fucking ironic. God, there's... there's... Masks? Herpetiles? What the hell's a herpetile? I think it's herptiles. Herptiles? I thought it said herpes for a bit. Sorry. Right, research <laughs> on reptiles and amphibians of Exuvia. Why would it be herptiles? That's weird. This game's weird. I'd make more sense if it was herb tiles or something, so they eat lettuce and stuff. Nah. Oh, we're not going back to the... Go back to the starting point. Oh, Clearly okay. there was something important there, okay. according to the lore. Let's see. Starting point. Recalculating. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh, there's an eye here. Whoa! Look Hilltop peak entry. Topography. They really okay. put out all the stops for this game. Okay. Hold on, we have uh, we have some more uh, we have some more skill points. When do we, we unlock the second set of skill points, which I'm assuming are better than the first set? Uh, probably when we get enough of the other skills. So, like, we can become more of a speedrunner here. We're going to do wall jump? Oh, you learned the skill and then it went down. So I think you need to learn all previous skills before you can get the next one. So, I, all right. Skeen sip. <laughs> Scene skip. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose. I don't. I have this weird thing about me. I mix up the first two letters of the word. Mm, I love sip and skein. <laughs> so, all right. So let, let's uh, let's go. This has all been a ruse. This is wow. not through. This is actually a skein commercial. Yes. Okay. So chapter three. Uh, here, Costa. Why, why don't you read this one? Waiting for you at the cave by the angled tree was a woman named Soleil. <laughs> Somehow she was expecting you at. She guided you to the Restorer's hideout, the Rising Sands. Gesh was there. Apparently he wasn't following us this whole time. And introduced you to the rest of the Restorers. He then told you about the great mist dragon that was terrorizing the land. He wanted you to find out more about the dragon and direct you to travel to... Absentee? Yeah. He wanted you to travel to I Wasn't There That Day to beseech the <laughs> ancient historians for information. You were there, uh, you were free to go whenever you want, but to travel to absenteeism and meet with the ancient historians, you must first skip all of your classes and never go back to school. Uh, I to think I see where this game is going. To, se to send in your absentee ballots. You must return to the Rising Sands and set out for I don't know anymore because someone decided Sorry. to preemptively skip the chapter. Nope. No, we'll, we'll, we will never know where we are setting out. It's right now. there. You traveled to absentee with your fellow restorer, Hroth. On the way, he told you about how Gesh first convinced him to join the restorers. He also confessed that this, this was his first time outside of Aragania, which made you puzzle why Gesh picked him to be your guide. Inside the town of Absentee, you found the ancient historian, a humble-looking dwarf sitting in a stupor outside of a local inn. As you went to speak to her, a group of out-of-practice assassins surround you. <laughs> As they do? <laughs> After dispatching the mysterious assassins, you and Hroth, we're missing some commas there, um, speak to the ancient historian. She introduced herself as Varese. 
Veriche, and promised to tell you all you wanted to know if you would put her up at the inn for the night. After paying for room and board, you sat down to dinner and asked about the Mist Dragon. Veriche told you that the dragon is most likely... I, 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 think it's, I think it's Veriche. Told you that the dragon Very is most tiny. likely Vothgar, the oldest being of Exuvia. A great dragon is only one of the many forms of Vothgar. Voth, oh, Vothgar has been depicted as over the years, but the most common. In the morning, Hroth convinced Veriche to travel back to the Rising Sands, where you must travel as well. Eventually. Eventually. This is amazing lore. 10 out of 10. Oh yeah, it's great. You arrived back at the Rising Sands alongside Hroth and Veriche, only to find the hideout empty and in shambles. You found an injured elf hiding in the shadows. It was one of the restorers you met before. That is way too many vowels. <laughs> That's at least three vowels, maybe four, considering Y might be a vowel. <laughs> it was one of the restorers you met before. Unpronounceable name. Veriche cast healing magic on the elf, and she sprung right up and explained what happened. A group of spotty assassins that looked like the ones that attacked you in Missing Person attacked the hideout. Gesh and the others escaped through a secret tunnel in the back that leads to the skiddy city of Skyarch. Oh. Got hit in the leg with an arrow during the attack and was unable to make it to the tunnel before they had to seal it off. She had been hiding ever since, waiting for you. Hill has a Skyarchian device that she can use to contact Gesh, and she'll wait for your return to the Rising Sands when you're ready to find him. You see what happens when you speed through? You left someone behind, and now we have no idea if they're okay or not. A group of assassins, which we clearly dispatched but never actually dispatched, were after us. I, I really, I really... I really do just appreciate how quickly all of this happened. Speedrunning, folks. Yes. You and <laughs> contact Gesh, who immediately answered. Through the static of the connection, you could hear a very stressed Gesh tell you that their arrival in Sky Arch did not go as planned. They he, didn't arrive. He urged you to head to Pin Tower to meet as soon as possible. You, Hroth, Veriche, and <laughs> travel to Sky Arch to try and get directions to Pin Tower. You all looked very out of place in Sky Arch. You all struggled to find a person who you could ask directions from as everyone just tried to sell you something. Eventually, someone offered to show you the way to Pin Tower, but led you into an ambush by some thugs with stun batons that quickly overpowered you. I, I really just wish I had seen any of this. Like, like where are these shops? Where are the shops in this open world? They were like, probably 12 minutes ago, we passed by all of this. Were you not paying attention? Clearly. <laughs> I uh, it's, it's hard for me to see. Like, the graphics are so detailed that, like, it's, like, you're, pro you're probably just, like... E God, look at this rock! Yeah, you're probably just, like, flying over everything, and, and it's just, like, like, your cursor is flying over everything. But, like, everything is there. You just can't see it. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Just sensory overload. Yeah. It's too it's too much for for the average player to handle. So and the the makers of this game knew that. So they just made this game. Um we know they can't handle it. That's why we made this game. <laughs> we want to see him squirm. You woke up they to probably find yourself think that this game just looks like a cursor going across the screen. <laughs> no, the amount of detail that we put into this game is so exuberant. They won't be able to perceive the resolution. You woke up to find yourself in a small prison with six cells. In the cells were the other restorers, Hroth, Veriche, <laughs> and Cell. Gesundheit. <laughs> the last cell was occupied by a mysterious hooded figure. Wait, how, how did you pronounce that name again? Was it Soleil? Was it Cell? I don't know. I, I don't know. There's so many words Se on the screen I lost track. Cell loudly whispered from the cell next to you that Gesh was on his way. Soon after, Gesh himself appeared at the bottom of the stairs to free you. As you made your way out of the cell, the hooded figure reached through the bars and grabbed you. Don't trust him, he hissed in your ear. Gesh came to your aid, striking the hooded figure back, and you both left him behind. Safe outside, the restorers decide to split up and return to the most likely safe again, Rising Sands. Oh my god. Which we've clearly done. Yes. 
You met up with the... I don't know if I could, if I could, if I could stand reading all of this. Part of me just Stories wants to get, get through. Stories get longer and longer, and it gets just more and more cumbersome to pronounce all of these names. Yeah, it's like it's like I I also don't want don't want this entire playthrough to just be us reading things. You know. Welcome to an open world game. Well, there's lore. I guess so. I guess that's the point. Uh, but but the more I do, the more I do. The more story there's going to be for us to uncover. All right. Well, clearly we need to get ready for whatever amount of story we're going to have next. I think we should go find the shop. Okay. Um. Point me to shop. Oh, question mark. A question mark. What is this? A question mark. You just said it. Oh, okay. we got a skill point. We got a savage bear entry. You killed a bear. Look oh. at that. Maybe okay. we didn't need okay. to get it. Okay. This is, this is immediately more interesting. Uh, do, 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 so, do, 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 uh, the game okay, it's is a instant spaced. Okay, so we go to Savage Bear. You survived the attack from a Savage Bear. You were rewarded with your life. Thank you, <laughs> kind sir. <laughs> Until next time, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want us to kill more Savage Bears, apparently. And we will reward you with your life. Peace out. What is this game? You wanted this. Uh, clearly I did. <laughs>